Whoa, there's a relationship coming right at you. Return fire with some commitment. Whoa, what is going on guys? It's the Crow 20 coming at you with some little, you know, maybe some, I don't know, relationships uh, topics going on here. So how you guys doing with myself? So today I, th I thought I'd give out some, um, more like, I don't know, inspirement, maybe some, maybe some words of wisdom and some advice for relationships. Now, if you know what a relationship is and you've been in one and you've been in one maybe for maybe a year or two, maybe longer, maybe a little bit shorter than that, then you know what you're already in for. Those of you who don't know what relationship is, which I know there are some of you out there that are always asking me about what to do in a relationship because I've had experience. Do I have enough experience in relationships? I want to say yes, but I want to say no. I want to say yes because I was in a relationship for two years with somebody and I was in a relationship with multiple different people for a certain amount of time and I've learned new things through the, all those relationships that I've been through. Now, what happens when something like this happens? Uh, hey Draven, uh, do you got a s- Yeah, I got a sec, what do you need? Well, it turns out I'm in a relationship. Oh yeah, and how are you going about that? Well, it's kind of weird. I need some help, I need some advice. Do you happen to have any advice? I mean, I know that you've been through some shit and everything, so you think you can give me some helpful advice? Actually, yes, I can. So now we're gonna go in and get into what relationships are like. Relationships, and I'm gonna take a quote from Rocket, Rocket Jump, who, if you know who they are, they made the video game high school series. If you haven't checked it out, go ahead and check it out. So basically, is what happens is that uh, this one character in the main, the main character of the entire series, there's three series, there's three seasons actually, he goes to the principal of the school to get advice. The principal and him kind of had a, like a little tiny relationship between the two, like it's a father and son kind of relationship. And he's confused as to how he goes about talking to this girl that he already started dating, but then they broke up, and then he wants to figure out how to get back together with him because there's a possible chance that she wants to get back together with him. So he goes to the only person who he actually sees as a father figure. The principal had given him this very amazing quote that I enjoy so much about relationships. Relationships are like owning your first car. You're gonna go fast, way too fast. You're probably gonna wreck it. But just fasten your seatbelt and enjoy the ride. Multiple ways this quote is absolutely 100% true. Sometimes we do not know what kind of relationship we've gotten ourselves into, whether it be a committed kind, whether it be a two day, 2K kind, two week kind, two month kind. We don't know what kind of relationship we've gotten ourselves into, whether the girl be crazy or the guy be crazy or jockish or diva or, you know, all the categories out there that we kind of find ourselves to be a little attracted to as men and women. So what do we do? We want to know more about the person, so we go in inside scoops by talking to their friend or their family. So what do we do when we ask the family or friends? What's he like? What does she like? What does she want? What is she looking for in a person? What is he looking for into a girl? Well, the thing is, is like, we don't know until after we've actually started the relationship. So the thing is, is like, I've always noticed this. I've even done this as myself as a person. I would always wonder what the relationship is going to be like. And I'd ask people who have actually been in the relationship and ask them, what am I in for? And the thing is, they'd give me the worst advice ever and they'd actually send me into a deep dark hole. Basically, they'd end up making a trap for me and ma basically making me fuck up the relationship. Now, the thing is, you should never take advice from somebody who's previously been in a relationship with that person that you are going to be in a relationship with. What you should do, however, is just go for it. Just don't, don't think about it, don't get scared, don't wonder, just do it. Just, you know, just like Shia LaBeouf said, just do it. Now, he is entirely right about just doing it, even though it was kind of funny how he did it, but he's not wrong. You should just go for it instead of just thinking about it. It's all about taking risks out there. You gotta be willing to take as many as possible. And the thing is, when you get into the relationship, you gotta be able to do a couple things. One, be committed. Two, make sure you have lots of love. Three, trust the person 100%. Four, be honest. And five, always know where you guys stand in a relationship. And if something comes up, fix it, you know? Work together as a team. A relationship is a two-person thing. It's not an individual where one does more and the other does less. You have to do an equal amount of work in the relationship. If you do not, then eventually the relationship will kind of crumble on itself. You don't want that because if it does crumble on you guys, one of you is going to get hurt worse and the other one's not going to be touched as much, but they will experience a little tiny bit of it and then you probably might get into an argument on who did more for what in the relationship and you definitely don't want to find yourself in a relationship fight like that. That is the worst. Trust me. I know. 
So, on the other hand, you want to make sure you have all five of those things in there when you start the relationship. If you do not have trust, which is probably the most important one out of the entire category, there is no relationship. You have to have the trust. you got to be able to trust that person when they go out with somebody, or if they, like, basically, let's say I had a girlfriend, which I do not, and you're probably wondering, why are you talking if you're not in a relationship? Well, because I have experience, so you know every experience is the same, well, they're not exactly the same, but they do have the same morals along, along the same lines of what you're going to be experiencing at the end. So, depending on if you take this advice, go ahead. But I'm not going to sit here and say I'm the 100% expert at love and relationships, because I'm not, but I do have some experience in relationships. So I do know what you're in store for. You need to have the trust in order with all those other things in line, and then continue on the, with the relationship. And then go, go, on, go on dates and stuff, but do not get too clingy. If you get too clingy, that person that you're in a relationship with will not want to be around you as much. They'll actually try and avoid you. If you text them, they will probably ignore it. If you call them, they will probably ignore it. If you Skype, Snapchat, anything. If you've been doing this for like more than an hour and you've been just going, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing, what are you doing, then they're just not going to want to be around you. So what you should do is just limit your texts from here and there, talk to them once in a while, and then, you know, let it, let it go through. You know, let her experience her life and experience life, but also know that you guys are together. Don't let the distance between you two and your individual lives go too far apart to where you guys don't even remember where you guys were at. Be at least this far apart from each other and do your lives the way you would do it normally and then eventually come back together and know that you guys are still okay. Always have the trust in your pocket because if you do not have the trust, there is no relationship. I say again, there is no relationship when you have no trust. That's all I wanted to give out to you guys today. There's been some people who've been wanting some advice from me about relationships and I think this is probably the best way for me to give it to them. So. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this little tiny talk that I gave to you about relationships, go ahead and leave a like, leave a comment, be respectful when the, you put the comments down. Do not try and talk down to me. Do not be disrespectful to me or others that are trying to comment on it. Subscribe, share this video if you have friends who are dealing with relationship problems and you don't really know how to explain it. Go ahead and leave it to them. And you know what? Enjoy your life. Enjoy your relationships out there for all you people who are in relationships. Have a nice day and I'll see you guys later.